So let me get this straight. The conference finals MVP and the NBA finals MVP somehow cannot get onto a 12-team NBA roster. Huh? Like, guys, that's in, guys, that is insane because I've just been trying to rack my brains as to the whole Jalen Brown thing and I don't think it's very hard to put into words just how ridiculous this is because I see some idiots online trying to rationalize by saying, oh, well, he's shown the right fit for the team. You know, Derek White is better defensively. F all that. F all that. Fudge all that. Because that's just fudging stupid. A guy was voted conference finals MVP and finals MVP because we all watched that NBA finals series. Jalen Brown was the best player of the Celtics team. Derek White was good. Tatum was good. He did his thing. The best player was Jalen Brown, and nobody, and I mean nobody, had any qualms or disagreements when he was given finals MVP because even if it was a team effort and the team was amazing, the standout player in that series was Jalen Brown. He was easily the standout player. So, if you're Jalen Brown, you're like, wow. I there There is no way in hell the reason why I'm not... There is due to basketball. It's impossible. If it's strictly basketball, of course I'm on a 12-man team. Because I was the best performing player on the team that just won the freaking championship. So 100%, I should be one of the first names on that team sheet. Because obviously, LeBron, Steph Curry, and they're just there for legacy. You have to just respect the legacy of what Curry and LeBron has done there. Then you have to look at the current guys. And for us, as current guys, he's, you've got to put him up in there. You know, so... The reason why I do this video is because this is not about basketball. It's not. It's it's politics. It's politics. So let's have that uncomfortable conversation. Let's talk about Nike. Let's talk about who owns Nike. Let's talk about the people who run Nike. Let's talk about the tweets that Kyrie Irving put out. Let's talk about the reactions to those tweets. Let's talk about what Jalen Brown tweeted out in response to what Kyrie Irving said and about how, oh, Nike, are you the guys to talk about ethics? Let's keep it 100% in the stack. This is not about basketball. This is about Nike. And it's about Nike making a decision that we do not want Kyrie on this team. We don't want Jalen Brown on this team. And if that is true, not that if, it is true, that is messed up. Because why should a sponsor have anything to do with a sporting team? This is... My country is trying to go for the gold medal. So therefore, I want to pick the very best team so we give no one a chance. Because this is what I've always said. The most unbeatable sports team of all time, in my view, is the American basketball team. If the American basketball team puts out their best team, not this B, if the American basketball team put out the best, their best team, I believe they're the most unbeatable. Now, growing up, this was 100% true. Like, it, bro, the 92 team, 96 team, unbeatable. The gap is shortening. And Europe is catching up. You look at um, some of the best players in the NBA right now. Jokic. Um, what's it called? Um, what, 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 what am I blanking now? The dude from the Mavericks. Um, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Um, Yanis, the, these are guys that are not American. These are guys that are un, 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 oh, God, what am I blanking on this name? Wow, I've just blanked on his name. Slovenian dudes, Dallas Mavericks. How am I? You know, I'm gonna, I swear when I shut down this video, I'm gonna remember that the guy's name is so annoying because I know Jokic, that is Denver Nuggets. Wow, that, are you are you are you kidding me? So the Dallas Mavericks, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Good myself. So Europe is catching up. It's catching up, but still, if America puts us their best team, they are unbeatable. But for Jalen Brown, let's be, be, be real. It's the Olympics. I feel one of the most prized possessions for any sports person, any sports person, is an Olympic gold medal. Simply is. Shouts to the World Cup, NBA Championships. Um, Wimbledon, I believe that if you go into someone's house and you look at the wall of all of the achievements, 
and you see an Olympic gold medal, that is still the most coveted sporting achievements that you could, that, that, that you can acquire, which is an Olympic gold medal. So it does mean something based on just the historic nature of the Olympics and just how prestigious and important that sporting enterprises of competing on the, in the Olympics. So if you're Jillian Bryan, like, my God in heaven, I just got, I just won the NBA championships. I just got conference MVP. I've got finals MVP. A spot opened up because Kawhi left and they picked Derek White over me. Not because of basketball, because of politics and someone just not want me wanting to be on that team, which is ridiculous. Which is ridiculous. This is about basketball. So I am literally, based on coins from, I'm one of the best players in the league. Based on coins from, I'm one of the best players in the league. And you're not picking me because of politics? Because political views? Same goes for Kyrie. So for Kyrie and for Jalen Brown, we're not, we, you are robbing us of a chance of winning an Olympic gold medal. Something that we will truly cherish. A moment that we truly cherish, which is winning a gold medal for our country. Because of politics not because of our skills or our talent because of politics it's messed up it's messed up